Most musicians release 10 songs in two or three years. Legendary R&B singer Van Morrison, however, once recorded an entire album comprising 31 songs in just one afternoon. The album wasn't the result of a once-in-a-lifetime stroke of creativity, nor did Morrison suddenly become a computer. These songs were instead fueled by sheer spite and the desire for revenge. Revenge against who and why, you ask? I'm Think So Joe, this is Things You Might Not Know, and today we explore the story of Van Morrison's legendary 31 Songs Express album. Our story begins with Van Morrison, who started his singing career at the age of 12, and by 19 had joined a band, Them. Van was young, but in terms of raw talent, he was unmatched. Van also had a different approach to singing than most artists. He wanted to be free to do his own thing, and when it came to thinking, he would often go days without speaking a single word. He has also been described as problematic to work with, but then again, you can't expect the extraordinary to be ordinary. Van had a couple of hits and soon signed a contract with Burt Burns recording studio Bang Productions. This contract, however, soon turned from something he'd been looking for to the bane of his existence. The story took a turn, and soon Van found himself in a professional studio with 40 other people. This wasn't what Morrison had signed up for, as he was a rough and tough R&B singer. He needed freedom and space to come up with the ideas and inspirations that had made him successful in the first place, and at Bang Productions, he wasn't getting any of that. After one breakdown during the Bang sessions, Morrison said, It should be freer. At the minute, we have a choke thing going, know what I mean? Despite all this, Van Morrison would go on to record his world-famous hit, Brown-Eyed Girl. Morrison believed this masterpiece, along with seven other songs he had recorded, deserved to be released as four singles and b-sides. This, however, did not happen as Burns, Morrison's producer, went behind his back and released all eight tracks at once as an album. Morrison was furious and had a heated discussion with Burns. This was when Morrison realized that Burns wasn't just weak of character, but weak of heart too, as he had a heart attack and died. Burns' widow started blaming Morrison for Burns' death, and things got even worse. Morrison had had enough and decided it was time to move on from Bang Productions. He already had an offer from Warner Brothers, and the only thing holding him back was the song obligation that he had unknowingly agreed to in his contract with Burns. During one fateful afternoon in 1968, Morrison went into the studio empty-handed and came out with an entire album. You see, the contract specified quantity, but not quality. The songs he recorded, as a result, aren't exactly his best. However, they do have a certain ring to them. Some subjects of his songs included topics like ringworm, sandwiches, and even one about blowing your nose. As you can guess, they were shelved, but since he had fulfilled his contractual obligations, he was free to go after one more requirement. Warner Brothers executive Joe Smith reached out to Don Rickles manager Joe Scandor, who he described as connected, to ask what he needed to do to get Morrison released from his contract. Smith had to bring $20,000 in cash to a Manhattan warehouse. I had to walk up three flights of stairs and there were four guys, Smith recalled. Two tall and thin and two built like buildings. There was no small talk. I got the signed contract and got the hell out of there because I was afraid somebody would whack me in the head and take back the contract and I'd be out the money. The songs officially remained unreleased for 39 years until on April 28, 2017, Legacy Recordings and Bang Records released The Authorized Bang Collection, a compilation that included every song Morrison ever recorded for Bang Records. Following his fulfillment of his contract with Bang, Van Morrison would go on to release his greatest masterpiece yet, titled Astro Weeks. So there you have it folks, the story of how one singer used the power of spite to record 31 songs in one day. Behind every great achievement is the desire to spite, truly an inspiration. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Things You Might Not Know. If you enjoyed today's video, please leave a like and a comment down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit that bell icon so you get notified every time I post a new video. You can follow me on Facebook, 
Twitter, and Instagram, and you can see a playlist of Things You Might Not Know videos over here. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time!